Hello everyone. The one who's talking with you now is your mathematics teacher, who cannot wait to see you in the class. My name is Zat Utum. Math would be a funny and wonderful subject. I'm sure some of you looked before to math as a difficult subject, but in our class we will change this feeling and I promise you that the math will be very easy and interesting. Welcome everyone again to this exciting journey into the world of mathematics. Welcome everyone again to this exciting journey into the world of mathematics. Now, let me talk about the fundamental concepts that form the building blocks of our subject. In our subject, we will study eight units and all of these units will be simple and short. Unit number one, rational numbers operations. Our journey begins with rational number operations. Imagine numbers as a puzzle pieces that can be combined, separate, and transformed. Rational numbers are no different. Adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing them, let us unlock their potential to solve various real-world scenarios. Unit number two, analyze and use proportional relationships. Next up, analyzing and using proportional relationships. Proportionals are like mathematical receipts that describe how two quantities relate. They are found in receipts, map, and more. Understanding and applying these relationships help us make predictions and comparisons in various contexts. Unit number three, analyze and solve patient problems. Now, let's tackle analyzing and solving patient problems. Percentages are everywhere, from sales discounts to interest rates. By mastering percentage, you will be quite to negative the financial aspect of life with confidence. In this unit, we will understand that equivalent ratios can be used to model percent problems. Also, we will analyze percents of numbers in a real-world context. And we will explain how to represent and solve percent problems using equations. Unit number four, generate equivalent expressions. Moving on, encounter the concepts of generating equivalent expressions. Think of expressions as different ways of saying the same thing. By manipulating and transforming expressions, you will have a powerful toolkit to simplify complex problems. In this unit, we will learn how we can write and evaluate algebraic expressions, and we will identify equivalent expressions. Also, we will recognize factoring in the opposite of expanding expressions. Unit number five, solve problems using equations and inequalities. Solving problems using, in using equations and inequalities is a critical skill. Equations help us find the missing values, while inequalities guide us in understanding relationships between quantities. In this unit, we will learn how we can write two steps equations to model problems, how to represent a problem with two steps, and analyze world problems to write two steps equations. Unit number six, use sampling to draw interferences about the populations. In this unit, we will enter the world of statistics. Using sampling to draw inference about populations is an essential tool. Imagine you can't interview an entire population. So you interview smaller group. By analyzing this sample, you can make informed predications about the larger population. By the end of this unit, we will be able to understand the difference between a population and sample. Also, we will learn how a sample 
representative of population. Unit number seven, probability. Probability is our next stop, whether it's predicting the outcome of a deck rule or the likelihood of rain. Understanding probability empowers you to make informed decisions in an uncertain world. In this unit, we will probability to the likelihood that an event will occur and we will relate probability to mathematical fairness. Also, we will use probability model to evaluate a situation and to make an estimate. Unit number eight, solving problems involving geometry. Last but not least, let's delve into solving problems involving geometry. Geometry isn't just about angles and shapes. It's about understanding relationships and visualizing the world around you. From calculating areas to measuring angles, geometry is the language of space. As we arm up, our wiring of these credible mathematical concepts, remember that math is more than just numbers and formulas. It's a universal language that empowers you to understand and shape the world. So embrace these ideas, practice, and keep exploring. In our math class, I will deal with everyone according to his level. I will work in developing all levels so that, so that everyone can reach the level of creativity. We will also have a continuous assessments to ensure understanding and develop your level. We will have a money particles activities that connect mathematics with our daily lives. And this will make mathematics simple and fun as well. What I want is for you to enter the math class with a smile and determination. See you soon and good luck.